What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Eats. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And today, y'all, I got spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. I got some spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and turkey meatballs. Let me say my prayer and get it in. Heavenly Father, bless over this food. Let it be nourishment to my body. Bless over the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? I hope good. Y'all, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. So we're going to put some Parmesan on there. Parma Parmesan. Alrighty. If y'all hear a cricket, he is in our garage and he has been aggravating me all night long and all day long. So, all right, I think that's enough Parmesan, don't y'all think? Okay. All right, thumbnail. Okay. All right, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? I hope good. Oh yeah, let me fix me something to drink. All right, this right here is um, the frozen fruit that you would get from the freezer section at the grocery store. Just add it to water. So frozen fruit, so this is um, blueberries, I think blackberries and strawberries. Just add it to water, to water, put some ice in it and put it in your refrigerator. I got this little container from Dollar Tree for a dollar, so. Okay, I wanted me some infused water. Oh, that's good. All right, it's time to dig in. All right, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm hurting a little bit, y'all. I dropped AJ off at school today, and whew, that's my buddy. That is my buddy. And whew. That's spaghetti hitting the spot. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love me some spaghetti, y'all. Some meatball. Mmm. 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 What y'all cooking today on this beautiful Monday? It's lunchtime. The kids already got their food because, y'all, when my kids get out of school, they be ready to eat. I don't know about y'all, but my kids be ready to eat when they get out of school. I said I'm had them already ready. I did good though. Got the girls ready, put them on the bus. Got AJ ready, got myself ready. Took AJ to school because he doesn't stay in the same, well no, his school, because he's in 4K, I have to go to a different school, not Kenzie and Adrian's school. So I had to take him to a different school for 4K. And so other than that, he'll be riding the bus too <laughs> with them. Um, so I had to take him to school after that. I went and worked out, y'all. Feel good. I ran to Walmart. Got the stuff we needed. Got the food ready, y'all. I got a lot done, but I still miss my baby. I really do. Like I said, Kenzie and Adrian, I think I didn't say this before. They they been in school. But this is AJ's first time. This is my last baby, so... I'm going through it, y'all. <laughs> Tweezy going through it too, so. Whew. Now, I didn't know that was the season finale of Sisters, y'all. It done got good, finally. It finally got good. I was happy to see Zach and Fatima actually on the same page finally they no drama no nothing for right now with them with them two as far as breaking up i'm happy to see that and then gary i don't know what's gonna happen with that because it seemed like Aunt gary really want to be with andy so it seemed like he's gonna try to let her get to know him him 
and hopefully she want him for him, <laughs> not for his tools. And um, Danny, I'm finally, I'm glad she finally let go and is, you know, letting the cowboy be the cowboy, but she should not have let, let him try those drugs. Well, we, she should not have ever offered it to him. He said he didn't want it. When somebody said they don't want it, don't give it to him. So yeah, that was, that was something. I'm glad Maurice finally stepping up to the plate for his actions. Um, yeah. He finally taking accountability for his role in this. But I can tell that the detective don't believe him. Nobody don't believe him. So hopefully they go ahead and just throw that out. Yeah. Yeah, oh Karen. Karen, y'all. She she getting on my nerves so bad. She feel like she could just talk to anybody any kind of way. And that ain't that ain't it. That ain't it. It's only so much for Tama can take. So I'm with her on that. Let's spit this spaghetti out the train. The secret to having good spaghetti is having enough sauce. One can of sauce is not enough. You need two. You want your spaghetti to be juicy. Look at that gnat. I done let a gnat in here. That gnat was smart. What's up, y'all? <laughs> And that said, he want to be in the mukbang. Good. Oh, yeah. See, this is good about two days. Then just add more water to it. Between two and three days, add more water to it. And it's going to keep on infusing the water. After three days, Take this stuff and, and put in your uh, garbage disposal. This spaghetti is delicious, y'all. I can put too much sauce though. I got more sauce than noodles. I'm trying not to scrape the plate. That was why I was using them plastic plates and stuff and plastic forks because I don't be wanting to bing, 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 bing in y'all ear, you know? So that was why.
I had somebody say, dog, you ain't got no real um, forks and real plates. I do, but I try to be considerate. That's good. Now that's some good spaghetti. Forgot to eat garlic bread. But y'all, I don't think I needed no bread anyway. I did. And I ate me some spaghetti. I'm good to go. Got my infused water. Worked out today. <sighs> yeah. As soon as the kids get out of school, I got to see if they got any homework. Then after that, well, first eat, let them eat, then see if they got any homework. Then after that, I got to take them to practice. They got cheerleading practice. AJ going to um, be in the car jumping up and down while they cheerleading practice. Sometimes I get out and sit in the, you know, fold out chair. Sometimes I do that. And sometimes I sit in the car. One or two. AJ be wanting to take his cars and stuff out there and play around or he'll want to play the game in the car. Either one, that's what I'm gonna be doing all the way to eight o'clock at night. Ain't that a long time. So yeah, I gotta be out there for a couple hours with them while they practice. I gotta make sure I fix their water bottles. I might go ahead and do that now before they get off the bus. I go ahead and fix the water bottles and everything. And then once we are done with that, I gotta drive 20 minutes home from there. So eight o'clock, I probably leave there about 10, 10 minutes after 8 because sometimes the coach want to talk to the parents about stuff. Remember I told y'all they got a jamboree coming up. Jamboree coming up this Saturday. So 10 minutes after. So I probably get home 8.30. Make them take their shower. Put on their clothes. Go to bed. Wake up tomorrow and do the same thing. Wake up tomorrow and do the same thing. So. And see, I'm going to um, go ahead on and enroll AJ in swim class. I need to enroll Kenzie and Adrian, but they already stretched to the limit with cheerleading. But uh, AJ loves the pool, so I got to make sure he's in swim class. Because I had them in swim class every year since they were little, just like AJ. So now I got to make sure he do the same thing. Um, all my kids love water, except for Leah. Leah don't want no water to get on her eye, nothing. She go like waist deep in there and that's it. She don't splash her, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah all my kids are water kids they love kids except for Leah love water except for Leah um yeah y'all I hope y'all having a wonderful safe blessed day y'all this food was amazing I I don't know what to say it's, I got a lot to do today y'all pray for me with my for my sanity while all of them are at school I don't know what to do with myself I know I will eventually have me a routine because I know y'all done already probably had kids and done raised your kids. So y'all know exactly how I feel, but you know I get through it. So I, I'm in the point where I'm just trying to get through it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload my newest videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the Q&T TV channel. Peace out.